divine in here. We are going to be doing a lot more cooking today on the show. And these are recipes that you can learn if you want to play around in your kitchen, if you're actually uh, thinking of staying home for Saturday and Sunday and not brave the Carmageddon, which is the 4 or 5 closure from the 10 to the 101. Joining us right now from the uh. L.A. Prime restaurant at the yes. Western Bonaventure Venture mm -hmm. Hotel, Chef Andreas Nieto. Hello. Hello. How welcome are you? To Glad to be here today. Okay. Yes. So you're going to be mm. teaching us two dishes today, a salad and uh, something like that, which smells Braised really shoulder. good. Braised yes. short Braised Okay, short let's talk about the salad first. Okay, so basically what I'm preparing today is two dishes. One is our one of our signature dishes. Uh, it's a roasted beet salad. Okay. So we can start with that, and then also I have a braised short rib with celeric puree and tiny vegetables. Okay, let's okay. start with the salad, trying to okay. eat healthy, trying to be healthy. <laughs> what do we need for the salad? Okay, so basically what we have is uh, we have uh, roasted yellow beets. These are yellow beets, and we have roasted red beets. Mm -hmm. And these, we take them with a little olive oil, salt, and pepper, and uh, just roast them in the oven okay. with the skin on. And then afterwards, I peel the skin off, mm -hmm. and that leaves all the natural flavors, the sugars, all the nutrients. That is why we leave the skin on yes. when we roast. Okay, yes. all right. You want to keep all those great flavors inside the beet. Okay, and then? Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, essentially it's uh, yellow beets, red beets, baby frisee, and I made this wonderful red beet puree. So I'm going to start by putting that on the plate. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of just great color. And we talked about this yesterday. When you puree something, what do you do again? Uh, basi yeah, basically what you're doing is you cook, you cook the, the item. Like th in this case, it's red beets. So we take it, uh, uh, cook it in a little bit of uh, its natural uh, juices okay. and just puree it. So okay. it's all natural. It doesn't need anything. Maybe a little salt, a little pepper at the most. But you want to really get all those natural flavors okay. out. Okay. So we have uh, the red beet puree, mm -hmm. so you have a lot of color there. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the white frisee. I love using this lettuce because it <clears throat> has a great texture, has a little crunch. And we and can it, get that any, anywhere. You can get this in, in most markets, okay. uh, all produce markets, the mm -hmm. farmer's market, mm -hmm. or maybe, you know, different, you know, different local uh, okay. uh, grocery stores. All right. So I'm going to just, this is a, uh, a sherry vinaigrette we make. Uh, that's one of our uh, signature, signature dressings. So uh, we can't get that anywhere. This you can get. This is, <laughs> it's this a is, secret ingredient. Yeah. Okay. This is Chef Andres' uh, recipe. Okay. Here. So anyways, it's Spanish sherry, uh, olive oil, uh, seasoning, little fresh uh, herbs. So we're going to just... Dab it a little bit on there like that. Mm -hmm. How does just, it taste? It's is it's, it like sour? A no, little? It's, it's a little sweet, a little, a little sweet, a little sour. Okay. Okay. So you have uh, a really good combination of flavors. Okay, all right. It's it's mild. It's not overbearing. Okay. Because uh, you're gonna you wanna you know not you overbear. You don't wanna overpower the exactly. Meat. Okay, that's because right. that's the real flavor. That's the flavor. See, yeah, okay, I that's know. It. I know okay. my food. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these have been you know once again roasted, seasoned. So I'm just gonna put a couple of these mm -hmm. on the plate. Okay, you mm -hmm. want me to do that while sure. you... Sure, okay. absolutely. I hope you can I put uh, two, two uh, yellow ones and, uh, and two red ones. Okay. Okay. Other side? <clears throat> right there, yeah. Uh -huh, okay. That's it. Okay, perfect. Okay. And I'm going to take this frisee, and I'm just going to put this right on top, okay. just like that. And um, that's. Uh, and I'm going to finish it with, uh, with these. These are candied pistachios. Okay. So these are, are really great. I'm going to just sprinkle those okay. on the plate. And then I'm going to finish with a couple of these... These uh, grapefruit segments. Uh -huh. So you have all these great, you know, uh, ingredients. Or local and it looks California. very healthy. It's very, it's very okay. simple. I, I noticed the um, the lemon, the slices mm. of lemon. Do you... I, yeah, the lemon. This is a Meyer lemon, which mm -hmm. is a cross between an orange and a lemon. Okay. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit on that for a little bit of acid, and then I'm gonna finish it with my. My vinaigrette. Okay. So there you go. And this okay? is ready. This is ready. Now, you know, we talked about the short ribs, but we have the last one minute on the show. Right, okay. Can you so the short the ribs, I'm going to do it really quick. This okay. is, uh, this is a, uh, a puree, a celeric puree mm -hmm. that I uh, had made. So what is that? A celeric. It's celery root celery. puree. Okay, okay. Celery yeah. root puree. Yeah, I love okay. using purees. They're okay. really great. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just kind of same, garnish, same thing. Yeah, garnish okay. the plate like that. And then, and then these are uh, the beef short ribs. These ribs. When you braise it, you braise it in red wine? Yes, okay. I braise it with red wine mm -hmm. and, and celery, carrots, okay. onions. And this is, uh, I braised it for six hours. So red mm. wine with celery, onions, and carrots. Correct. Okay. And a really good red wine. Okay. And you want to you braise it for at least six hours. Okay. And this is something we're going to be serving at the event coming up, the fifth annual sake and food. Yes, festival. the Little Tokyo yeah, Service Center. Exactly. When is this again, the event? It's on the 26th, I believe. 26th. Yeah. We have the uh, information on the screen for right. you. Um, okay. and, and that here, is how you get information yeah. as well. And these are some little tiny vegetables. So these, okay. we just, I sauteed them. Back in the kitchen? 
back in the kitchen. We're going to just garnish with these. These I love are, these. do you see the mm. miniature veggies? Yeah, we have miniature turnips, miniature carrots, uh -huh. uh, radishes. I love these. They're so fun. Right. You know what? They're, they're, How do they taste like those? They taste just like, you know, the, the larger vegetables. They're so cute. They're like toys. Exactly. Um, where do you get these? These you can get them at Farmer's Market. Once again, I buy, I get them from Kinter Farms, a lot of okay. local farmers here in okay. California. Okay. So this is the sauce. I'm going to just drizzle uh -huh. the sauce around like that. Wow. Okay. And it smells really right. good. Okay. And I'm going to garnish it with a little micro mirepoix. Uh -huh. And this has like peppercress, has uh, baby basil, uh -huh. uh, a lot of different, you know, baby greens. So you get your veggies. You get, veggies yeah, in, in it's a great flavor. So yes. it's a really beautiful, simple dish. Uh -huh. The most important thing about this dish mm. is braising the meat. That's, okay. that's the key. You know, have a great puree. You and wanna, it takes time. It so takes at least time. six yeah. hours. Can it, you go longer than six hours? Uh, six to eight hours okay. is a good time. Right. We're low and slow. Low, low and slow. And low slow. temperature, slow. So All right. uh, we're Perfect. going to be serving this. And this is one of our dishes we serve at LA Prime, where yeah. we're located in the Western Bonaventure Hotel. Exactly. So we love that. Newly renovated, home. correct? Newly renovated. But if you want to see them mm. soon, that's go to the Saki Tasting Event of the Little Tokyo Service Center. That's information once again on the screen. More recipes and another restaurant for you. When we return on the show, don't go away. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. More power. It goes much better. <laughs>